Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, my friends, we are going through the top five rare skins and items that are going to be returning inside of Fortnite Battle Royale during this season, which is going to go on for a couple of months. So, in the next couple of months, these are the rare skins that I think are going to be returning. There's some big evidence behind a lot of these skins, and you guys will probably be expecting a couple of these, but I'm pretty sure there's also a couple that you won't be expecting. I'm 99% sure all of these skins on the list are going to be returning. Um, obviously, there's that 1% that chance that it might not, but I really do think it is. And there's a lot of evidence that does back this up. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you do go ahead and enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button as well, subscribing to the channel. And also go ahead and chuck on that notification bell to set today with all of our videos coming in the future of the channel. But that way, longer, tell me in the comment section below what rare skins you think are going to be returning inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. I'll be interested to see your opinion in the comments below. But without waiting longer, let's go ahead and begin in our number five spot. Now, I'm going to go from this list from in our number five spot, the most obvious to our number one spot, like the least obvious skin that's going to be returning. Now, we've seen a lot of evidence behind our number five spot, which is going to be the Skull Trooper. Now, I'm going to put the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper together on this list with our number five and four spots. I'm going to put them together and basically, there's a lot of evidence that we've actually seen to tell us, hey, we're going to be seeing these skins again, again inside of the game. So, yeah, basically the Skull Trooper, in the first trailer we saw for Season 6, we saw our two skins that we already saw in the Season 5 Battle Pass, the Beach skins. And then we actually saw the Skull Trooper there as well, which was the first hint. A lot of people were like, hey, bro, um, Halloween, you know, it's up, it's up and coming again. This is like the first time that we actually saw these skins, and we've just seen the Skull Trooper in this trailer. And yeah, that is the first big hint because usually when Fortnite shows skins in trailers and also pictures that they tweet out over on Twitter, they usually mean that they're going to be released in the future. They did, it with the, did this with the Red Knight and basically, um, like, as you guys know, the Red Knight did re-release. I remember they put it in a picture first up and everyone was like, bro, um, the Red Knight's going to return again. They just put it in a picture and I'm like, oh, I really don't think so. But guess what? It did go ahead and return. They've done this with a couple of other skins as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did that with the Skull Trooper and that's like the first, like, bit of evidence that we have there, of course. The second bit is obviously Fort Nightmares, which happened in about October, November last year, when the game first released the Battle Royale mode. Our first ever event inside of the game was the Fort Nightmares, which was the Halloween event inside of Fortnite Battle Royale, which occurred obviously October, November last year, and... Uh, Fortnite, that was the first ever thing that happened in Fortnite, and then, of course, we had, like, Christmas and Easter and all that stuff, um, but well, coming up again, we do have Halloween, and Fortnite have already started to put in decorations inside of the game. We have some houses with webs on them. We have, um, some pumpkins around the map as well. They're starting to hint this event. The event's going to be coming up, and what better way to do the event than re-release these skins, the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper, two skins that are really, really wanted with within the community, and, um, skins that people will buy. They will get a lot of money from people buying these skins, because everyone wants them, everyone Everyone's wanted them probably since they've started the game and they regret but not buying them if they were playing ever since season one and ever since these first skins did release. Now I'm 99% sure that we're going to go ahead and see the Ghoul Trooper and the Skull Trooper again. Um, but I'm 100% sure we're going to see at least something alongside the Skull Trooper and Ghoul Trooper. If they don't release back those two exact skins, I think they're going to do either the next couple of things I'm going to say. I think they're going to either do like a version 2 of the Skull Trooper or the Ghoul Trooper, which we've actually seen some concepts of that, which they look really cool, um, where there's like a, a Skull Trooper that looks pretty much the same as the Skull Trooper, but he has a little bit more upgrades. It looks a little bit different, and that's why they're going to call it the Skull Trooper V2 and the Ghoul Trooper V2. I think they could do that, or... They could actually go ahead and just release, like, a girl version of the Skull Trooper and a boy version of the Girl Trooper. So the skins do look the same, but they're obviously still different. So the OG players that have been playing ever since Season 1 last year still get to keep their rare skins that they have had for a very long time. I think those are the two main possibilities that could be happening. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say there about the Skull Trooper and the Girl Trooper. But coming down to number 3 spot, we actually have the Scythe Act, which is another Halloween skin, which I believe is probably going to return. If the Skull Trooper and Girl Trooper return, the Scythe Act is going to 100% return, but I also think this could return just normally, just as a normal thing that we're going to see. The Scythe Axe is, you know, um, not too many people have this axe at all, and I think it is a pretty high possibility that we might not see the Skull Trooper and the Ghoul Trooper, but we might go ahead and see the um, Scythe Axe, or even the other way around. I think 
we're gonna see at least one of these inside of the game and yeah dude the scythe axe you know it is a really wanted um pickaxe and a lot of people do want this and fortnite of course they're trying to crack down on like selling like, skin accounts and stuff and people selling accounts because which is against their terms and conditions of course and obviously fortnite are against that and how are they going to stop this um obviously people buy accounts because they want rare skins that they want skins that they cannot get how are I going to fix that? Release the skins that they can't get so they can get that and not buy other people's account. Rather than that, they buy their own skins. Um, so Fortnite are getting more money there rather than losing money from other people selling their accounts to other players in the game. So I think this is a high possibility of why we're going to see these rare skins inside of the game. And that continues on with our next spots as well. I'm sure in the Halloween event coming up in Season 6, um, we're going to see the, the, all of the Skull Trooper, the Ghoul Trooper, and the Scythe Axe, or at least one of them. So yeah, that is there in our number 3 spot with this Scythe Axe. And our number 2 spot is a bit of a different one. And this is the Sergeant Green Clover. And you guys are like, yo, what is this skin? Uh, this is a skin that's kind of been forgotten about. And it last released like April, which was from right now, a very, very long time ago. And it's starting to become a very rare skin. And I've noticed what Fortnite have done when skins just randomly become rare. They just go ahead and re-release them again. They did this with the Battle Hound. It started to become rare. People were like, wait, dude, this is a really rare skin. Guess what? Boom, they re-released it again. The same thing happened with the Power Cord. It was a really rare skin. Boom, they went ahead and released it again. I think this is the same thing is going to happen with the Sergeant Green Clover, which is obviously it's starting to become rare. You know, it's been a couple of months since we have seen this. Obviously, it came out last in April, so it is definitely becoming a rare skin now. So, yeah, that is our number two spot there with the Sergeant Green Clover. It was obviously the St. Paddy's Day skin that did release. I'm pretty sure it was this one, and then there was also another skin that released. But I think that other skin isn't rare but the sergeant green clover is definitely still rare right now it was the sergeant green clover and the pot of gold that was it the pot of gold has re-released a couple of times as well but we still haven't seen the sergeant green clover and i wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and re-release this in the daily item shop which they have done with skins like the renegade the commando and also the tower recon specialist they've done this with a lot of like 800 v buck skins um that were starting to become rare they started to re-release them as well and they also i think are going to go ahead and do this in the sergeant green clover um i would be expecting them one daily item item shop just to randomly go ahead and just be like you know what let's go ahead and just add in the sergeant green clover again and honestly bro a lot of people do like this skin and a lot of people comment in my comment section below when i'm talking about like rare skin and stuff and they're like hey what about the sergeant green clover it's starting to become rare you should put it on one of your list well it's on this list right now but i think it is going to actually go ahead and return inside of the daily item shop in the very near future um maybe in the next couple of weeks maybe even tomorrow i think it'll be in the daily item shop they could go ahead and put in the featured items i'm not really 100 percent sure but that is our number two spot now, our number one spot, now this is probably one that I'm least sure about. Now, our number five spot with the Skull Troop, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is going to be released, you know. We've also got with, about the Skull Troop as well. We've got that little emblem that you unlock inside of Season 6 as well. It's a little skull, uh, skull head, so that is also another pointer towards that. I forgot to say that before. But yeah, the Skull Troop, uh, not, a last spot, I'm I'm almost certain that it's going to re-return. And then, obviously, the Guild Troop, the Scythe Axe, the Sergeant Green Clover, and the number one spot, which... I'm not sure if they'll bring back or not, but, dude, they really do have to, because, obviously, they're trying to crack down on selling accounts and stuff, and there's been this one skin that is probably the rarest skin in the game at the moment, if not one of the rarest, and this is the Recon Expert. It's the 1,200 V-Bucks skin that last released, like, December or something last year. It was crazy. It hasn't been out for a very, very long time, and it is probably the rarest skin in the game. Like, no one has the Recon Expert. It's just some random skin that Fortnite had decided to never re-release again. It's not part of a festive. It's not a part of a Battle Pass. I don't think Battle Pass skins are going to re-release again, but it is just there. It's just a Recon Expert. I'm not sure what Fortnite want to do with this. I know a lot of people um, have been collecting skins, and they're just missing, like, one skin, like the Recon Expert or something. They're buying a lot of accounts with this, and Fortnite, as I said before, are trying to crack down with accounts, and I'm just not sure if they're going to bring back the Recon Expert, but I do think it is going to return inside of Season 6. If they're going to try and re-release all of these rare skins, I think the Recon Expert has to be one of them that they do go ahead and re-release. Once again, as I said before, I don't think they're going to do the Battle Pass skins. I'm not sure how it's going to work, though, because there are some rare Battle Pass skins, like the Black Knight and stuff, but I don't know how they're going to re-release them, because they can't obviously put them in the item shop, because that just defeats the whole purpose of the Battle Pass. So, I'm not 100% sure about that, but our number one spot there is the Recon Expert. I think it does have to re-release, whether it's in the daily items, or they do go ahead and put it in the weekly items, um, or the featured items, I should say. 
say I'm not 100% sure how they're going to do it, but I do think throughout the Season 6, um, like, time base, however it is, like, two months or whatever, I do think the Recon Expert is going to re-return inside of the game because it is just so rare and a lot of people are saying accounts for this thing and getting a lot of money for it so ladies and gentlemen that's going to go ahead and end off our video hope you guys did go on to enjoy if you did make sure you go ahead and smash the like button as well subscribe to the channel and also go ahead and chuck in that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our videos coming in the future of the channel but i'll see you guys in the next one peace